man. Check out this milling table. This is crazy. So that's a nickel down there. Stop a nickel. Boom. Woo. We're at MTE. And this is a company that builds milling machines. Not just milling machines, but they build monster milling machines. The tables actually feed NX up to 85 feet. This one right here is over 20 feet, but think about it. 20 feet all the way down, crazy. What's up, brother? Hello, man. Dude. We are very pleasure to, very pleased to, to have you here. I'm very excited. Awesome, and man. As well, very excited. I'm excited. Like I, I literally have never. I've been in so many different companies, but I've never seen like tables this big. It's truly impressive. Thank you. So this one right here was what about 6.5 meters. Yes, yes, yes. And then you guys go up to the biggest ones are like 20, 26 meters. Okay, we have no limits in in Nexus Travels. And the biggest machine we made was, uh, not so many years ago, we made 26 meters X-axis machine in this way for, uh, this, in this case, for the uh, railways. When you actually look at the machines and you look at the, the foundation, I mean, it is rock solid. So is this one right here, this is like gear driven. Like it's got power plus it's got the size, all of it. In this case, we have a 43 kilowatts main, uh, main engine, torque type motor with direct drive technology, which is able to give uh, up to 1,000 newton meter in the S1 cycle to the awesome. head. It makes the uh, machine very, very strong for both rock milling and ending as well. Awesome. So you guys actually work with some of the biggest companies in the world. Uh, right now, there's a machine going to one of my favorite rocket companies. And so, so people that have like crazy long parts that are making like rockets and different things. Yeah, in fact, they, they have to figure out how to actually manufacture these incredibly long parts precisely. So when they have long parts, they come to you guys, MTE milling machines, and actually you build a machine around the part that they actually need. Okay, well, as you said, we are uh, trying to make the machines suited to each customer. Each uh, single machine is each uh, pro is single project in the US. So that we expect to, to see the machine in the, the factory soon. Okay. Awesome. So, Eneko, before we get too far, I mean, deputy manager of the facility, and you're young. Like, how, how does somebody like you get into a job like that? I mean, this is like incredibly impressive. Okay, this is uh, something that I like it since I was uh, uh, just a boy. So I try to join my family. Awesome. And uh, I don't know. We are very engaged to this business. So we we don't know to, to do anything else than machine tools. So That's it. And your your, dad, your dad works there, and was he like you said sixty six? Yeah, he's almost sixty six. Almost sixty six. He's working with us. And he said he's never well. leaving. Eh? Sorry. And he said he's never leaving. He's, no, no. he's married he, he to this, had, like yes. he's married to your mom. He's married twice. Ah, <laughs> so yeah. good. Manufacturing is in the blood, baby. Now, when you actually look at this table, it is an absolute monster, you know? When I think about tables that are that long, you think that they're not gonna be rigid, and yet this table alone is over 20 tons. So the table is like 40,000 pounds right here. And everything is built rock solid. Back in the day, I used to do crazy Boeing parts. I, and I actually had parts that were 25 feet long. I had a VF-11, you know, and we basically used to put these parts inside the machine and then we'd hang them out the sides and actually use dowel pins to actually calculate them. We were working off mylars and, and it wasn't a perfect process, but we got the job done. But it wasn't a rigid machine. It wasn't a rigid process. These guys now are able to build just high-tech components for huge rocket companies, airplane companies, just monster shipbuilders, all of it, and actually do it on rigid machines. And that's one of the cool things about MTE is they're solving that problem. And what, what I love is that MTE has stepped out like some crazy talented people to find their niche in the market to literally build the most rigid, best milling machines with long tables, like up up to 85 feet long and it probably could even go longer than that 
but they solve a problem for the customer by making incredible machines with long tables that have crazy power, gear-driven spindles, all of it. And now as these new companies start making these bigger parts that have to be absolutely precise, now there's a machine tool maker that actually makes those type of machines to actually make those components. Crazy, solving problems right here in Spain. In this case, we have a SK50 tapper, but could be HSK100 as well. So we are trying to fulfill all the demands of the customers. The, this millihead is uh, able to, to reach 6,000 RPMs. It is fulfilling all the demands as before because you can use it for different kinds of applications, okay? You can use the high revolutions for many soft materials and as well the, the millihead is very strong enough to make any kind of material in Cornell or whatever it is without any problem. I like, I like having a Nico over there because like, you guys see the scale of how big this thing is. And of course the table the table would be all right here and stuff. So this is a floor type machine. And so this one is 12 meters or 40 feet. You guys have gone as big as 85 feet or what, 26, 26 meters. meters. And, and you guys could actually go even bigger than that. No, as no, big as needed. No limit for that. You just have to have a big enough building to, to do it and stuff. But you guys have figured out the process to make perfect right. machines that are long. Incredible, incredible. Now you come over here, this is the table right here. Spindle, spindles right here. And then X, actually the entire table moves. They're actually gonna do a demonstration. They got a nice big piece of material right here. We're gonna actually cut some chips. Oh, so, uh, what type of steel is this? It's a C45 type of steel. Big block for a military. It's kind of crazy too. Even the machine, like it's all custom, so this this actually company wanted a blue machine, so you guys painted it blue. Yeah, we normally do a gray. This is our comparative uh, color is gray, but if the customer wanted to have the blue, this is not blue. If this piece of steel was 80 feet long, it would be taking that exact cut all the way down, right? Yeah, right, right. Okay. Like, like getting after it. Even if the part is small, a big one, the habit of the machine is exactly the same, independently of the, of the part. Awesome, and depending on the type of part and the type of material, whether it's steel or Inconel, titanium, whatever it is, you guys can like make the, the spindle suit the material to make sure that you got like the craziest power or the high speed, Yes. right? We have uh, two both. we have a uh, high feeling, and we have high torque on it. Nice, super good. I think that's the craziest thing that you see like as the spindle went back to the material the entire machine just moved over to the material i've never actually ran a machine exactly like that that is mind-blowing we are using just a national spanish casting you can see here different kind of parts fbs model bed table any kind of ram all the casting is from spain we want to show you the latest launch model FD rotary table 3.5 meters in X axis B with V axis. Means we have 1.5 drivers going front and back of the of the column. See the spindle moving away. And what is crazy is like watch watch the whole machine come forward to this rotary right here and then watch watch the spindle how far it comes out. Like it's moving and then the spindle's coming out. Now it's the spindle's all the way out here. That was crazy. And now as this is out, you can actually see the entire table rotating. And the table can hold the part that's like 30,000 pounds or 15 tons. Just incredible range, incredible movement. This is a new machine. The machine is able to go back with the column and it makes to have the chance to swivel really long parts up to five meters 
and just really long tools for making some boring or drilling operations. Now we have seen the head and high neck machines, but as well we are able to make and deliver machines with Panu 31 IP Plus, Pagor for the European market, Siemens Inumeric 1, and head and head TNC 7. So we have available in this moment four different CNC controls for all the machine ranges. We can see here the body machine that in this case we have the combination of an RT model with a uh, moving back and forward moving uh, column 1.5 V axis plus 1.6 Y axis traverse axis. It makes the machine going back, long tools, long drillings, long boring, big pad, whatever it is. Coming out right here and like Basically, nobody's seen anything quite like this machine right here. Okay, this is a new a new market for us. Uh, okay. We face, this is what we face. We need to have a new new market, so we, we go ahead and we we develop the new machine. This is the prototype for us. We check the machine is working perfectly, so now we are launching to the market. Awesome. The machine is made totally in full uh, casting. Okay, we have no welded structure. The casting is uh, always milled and grinded. Each uh, part that is base of the machine or a transmission device or whatever it is is always milled and uh, also is uh, grinded. And uh, for us, the main most important factors for the machine are to have an oversized uh, structure always calculated with FEM calculation. The second key point could be that we try to use the top quality parts of the assembly. Then we try to make the machine with the highest control for the assembly. And the fourth one could be that uh, we try to make all these things in a very close relationship, all together working like a team. Pretty awesome. We're, we're in an MTE machine, milling machine. And the machine itself is moving because it's a floor style and we're milling MTE parts at the same time. MTE making MTE. It's awesome because I was just, I was just inside the machine and you see the machine moving now. It's so okay. You see the, the entire machine is like set under the ground right there. Make it parts baby, make it parts. MTE, let's go. So, this is a monster rotary table right here. Yeah, so right. How, how big is the table? In this case, this is an RT model. Uh, in this single project, the table is 2.4 meters by 1.9 width oh. and is able to load up to 15 tons. 15 okay? tons, so 30,000 pounds on here. And then this guy actually flips up, spins around. Yep. We are combining three axis plus rotary table and also Centesimal, let's say 0 .0, 0 0.01 degree resolution mini head, which makes unlimited applications. We can mill over the rotary table up to eight tons, turning four tons. Four tons, so that's still 8,000 pounds. Yes, right. That's big parts. We are going to the milling plant, but I don't want to, to waste the, the opportunity to show you our warehouse where we have any kind of needed part for the functionality of the machine and we are able to send to the end customer within 48 hours. Awesome. Anywhere in the world? Anywhere in the world. In this case the machine will be 9 meters x-axis traverse, 1.5 in vertical, 1.3 cross traverse and as I said before with the particularity to have a very big main engine 65 S1 kilowatts. You can see here inside we have fully integrated torque type motor with integrated gearboxes, the gearbox with two steps that makes uh, 65 kilowatts, 2,600 newton meter in S1 cycle and makes the machine really, really, really strong, mainly in this case for milling railways. Okay, we have another project, a ma machine to be delivered in the US. The customer is uh, Nets and Dye, and in this case the customer will be able to make milling of big parts up to six meters and as well making different operation multitasking combining the rotary table like a, a turning table okay in fact 
the machine will be uh, equipped with the CNC Fanuc 31 AB plus. Panic control. Yep. And you guys also do Siemens. Yes. Uh, uh, Cinemeric one. Yes, the last one is Cinemeric one, and in this case we have as well the Fanuc 31 AB plus. Okay. So right. we are offering Siemens, Fanuc, Head and Head, and Fagor for the European market. Siemens in the house. Melon, melon machines over here at FG. Dude, monster, monster machines. Melon. Castings are made here in Spain. Manufacturers and machinists made and built here in Spain. Melon, crazy parts for FG machines right here. So as we saw before, this is a floor style mill right here. And basically the mill itself is moving. The table is stationary. The data is making it happen. Boom. I absolutely love, I love Spain and I love Basque Country. And the world can learn from Basque Country because they take pride in manufacturing. You got the most beautiful mountains, you got the ocean, you got beautiful people and beautiful food, and, and they do all types of technologies, but they respect manufacturing. They have a rich culture in manufacturing, and they understand that there are certain people in this world that are actually born to build, born to machine, born to create. And when, you, and when other countries take that away from their people, people get lost. But here in Basque Country, they respect it. They make incredible products, they find niches, and they solve problems, and they make money, and they take care of their families, and they respect manufacturing. Basque Country doing it big. Boom.